Um, my name is Calvindo, a.k.a. DJ Focus. <laughs> I was born on the 26th of October, 1996. I am a proud Union. I live in a small community town in Freetown called the Wazak Farm. I am the youngest in a family of five children. I was raised up single-handedly by my mother. Her resilience and self-belief made it possible for me to be alive today. My creative instincts were always present, even as a little kid. I would dream that I was installing battery power lights at the homes of my neighbors, but I didn't make much of it at the time because I was too young to understand the meaning of my dreams. As a young boy, I could care less. At the age of 11, I entered um, junior secondary school, which I think um, you say junior high school in America. I started picking up scrap electronic items from trash areas on my way home because I was too poor to afford new parts, and my only option was to go around trash areas and find parts that I needed. And once I got the part that I want, I would go to bed at around 7 p.m. and I would wake up after midnight when everybody was asleep. <laughs> my mother would wake up most nights to see a living room transform into a small electronic scrapyard. And she would insist that I go back to bed <laughs> as I was just wasting my time on these scrap items. Though she meant no harm, she didn't understand where I was going. As I was just following my passion, she was just concerned for my well-being. Yeah. <laughs> when I realized that with scrap, I could still make things work by putting the pieces that I found, I started fixing radios for people in my community for free. In places like my community in Sierra Leone, the most valuable asset is a radio. A radio will serve as a main source of news, music, and family entertainment. But I took in many, many radios that I can fix. After repeatedly failing to make good on my promise to fix the radio for an old man, he came angrily one morning to take back his radio, only for me to discover that I had lost the radio. <laughs> the old man then got very angry, and he even wanted to beat me up. <laughs> I went to my friend's house to hide, and my mother got even angrier and asked me to stop fixing radios for people. And this was the end of my radio maintenance business. <laughs> so I decided to focus on working on scrap electronic parts. I used parts like resistor, transistor, capacitor, um, diodes, cardboards to build my own circuit board. I ended up building a three-channel mixer, a sound amplifier, and a microphone receiver. Putting all of these together, I discovered I had built a music set. I soon became a DJ, and I took the name DJ Focus. <laughs> DJ Focus. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want you all to say, DJ Focus. DJ Focus. DJ Focus. DJ Focus. I believe whenever I'm doing my inventions, I always stay focused. So, I started playing music for people in my community. Whenever they have small parties like birthday, naming ceremony, and I will normally DJ like this. Stand up, the great philosopher in the building, baby. It's the biggest, the hottest, the famous DJ in the old municipality. Kicking yard and banging. This is the biggest everywhere through. It's still in the making, baby. It's the nation pride. Beyond your imagination, it's the most wanted DJ. I and I DJ man focus. <laughs> and also, there is um, another Sierra Leonean version which um, goes like this. It's the youngest DJ. This DJ too young, but Sabi play good music. No how for play good lyrics. This DJ damn too serious. Ain't no get virus. DJ man focus. 
And, and people started giving me tips for my services. But most of the money that I earned, I spent it on battery. So I decided to make my own battery. I took an alkaline battery apart, and I looked at its components, and then tried to make mine. After failing several times, I went to my uncle, who helped me to make the first battery for my music set. And I was now able to make a couple of batteries for people in my neighborhood. At the age of 14, I started thinking about what I could do that could be bigger than my music set. I love listening to DJs on radio station. I love their music and also the way they play on the station. I dreamt of one day being on a radio like them. Then it came to me that I can make my own radio station and become a DJ there. This was how I set out to do something that has never been done before in my community. It was tough and hard. I spent many frustrating nights, trying and failing. But nevertheless, I persevered until I completed the project. Almost 16 months later, one morning, I told my elder brother that I was ready to do a test transmission of my radio station. He just laughed at me. So I tuned the old radio that was inside our living room, and I told my elder brother to talk on the microphone while I climb up the roof of our house to fix up the antenna. <laughs> a few minutes later, my station was on, and I could not believe what I have done. <laughs> what soon spread around my community about my radio station. I got two of my friends to work on the station with me as a DJ. So when people bring in jingles, I think um, you call them radio adverts. So we play on the air. They will pay me 5,000 loans, which is around um, $1.25. <laughs> I will give my DJs 1,000 loans, less than 50 cents, and I will keep the rest of the money to invest in my station. <laughs> because I am the manager, and in case anything happens. <laughs> but I ran into trouble when I discovered that my broadcast signal on 94.5 was jamming that of a famous station in Sierra Leone. <laughs> my mother was so afraid, and she told me to take my station off the ear <laughs> so that I will not be arrested by the police. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I changed my frequency and I was able to keep the station on ear. Then the film started. The national television station in Sierra Leone soon heard about what I had done and put me on ear for a live demonstration. And I was then hosted on a popular motivational show Live by design, and they also helped me get a scholarship to continue with my education. Then came. <laughs> then came um, a national innovation competition called Innovate Salon 2012, hosted by Global Minimum. I won one of the star prizes, and the founder of Global Minimum hosted me live on Google Hangout. And I got selected to participate in the 2012 World Make Affair in New York City. Then an amazing opportunity came to me, and I became the youngest visiting practitioner at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. <laughs> and I was also privileged to meet the president of Harvard University <laughs> as a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> I could not believe it. Just keep up, just keep the faith. And David Sanger, the founder of Global Minimum and Innovate Salon, got Tinker to do a video of my story, which was um, later posted on YouTube. At the latest count, this video has had more than 4.1 million views. And <laughs> and I was now forced to um, make um, an organization called TIO, Talented Intellectual Organization. So we go to different schools, talk about inventions and innovation. Yeah. Somebody mentioned to me that my video was even more popular than that of President Obama's victory speech. <laughs> <laughs> 
after um, his election, which had 2.9 million viewers. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, my story has been carried on news channels around the world, and I am greatly humbled and delighted by this. And if I'm asked to summarize the lessons of my life so far, there is one thing that I will say. Creativity is universal and can be found in places where one does not expect to find it. And perseverance and passion are essential to nurturing that creative ability. I believe passion comes from the inside, not from the outside. Although my mother was skeptical of my invention at, at first, I learned perseverance from my mother. Because as a single parent, she persevered to give me opportunities that led me to create solutions I develop. If I had not persevered and followed my passion, I would not have been able to make use of my talent. My happiest time it's when I am making electronic things for myself, my family, and for my community. So now that you know my own story, I urge you to look for young people with talent, creative abilities, and passion in all places. Not just in places you might expect to find it, and I ask you to support these young people, just as so many people have supported me. You never know, you, you might find the next DJ Focus. Thank you. <laughs> DJ Focus! DJ Focus! DJ Focus! Yeah. <laughs>